Hello viewers, here we have a Sunbeam Neon Palm Tree. I kind of remember having something like this many years ago back in the 2000s. I don't recall if it fell and broke or I don't know what became of it. But I kind of remember it and I thought it was neat and when I saw this one I figured I'd grab it. I'm sure it would make a good video, and I can't imagine there's many of these left. Hopefully it still works. I don't know, sometimes these things get flaky when they sit in a package for extended periods of time. It definitely has been exposed to either the sun and or the heat. It's severely yellowed. Although at the bottom it kind of seems to be okay. So I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Why the base is blue is beyond me, but... Okay, so let's see if we can open this up without the package kind of exploding on me. Okay, looks like we were generally successful there. So we got a tie wrap to a piece of plastic, so let's get that off in there. Here's the bulb itself. It's the Sunbeam 7 watt bulb. Lighting Universal Enterprise Corporation. 2004 8. That's right around the time I would have remembered it. So let's go ahead and screw this in. some instructions here. I don't see anything, uh, any changlish on there that's worth mentioning. Yeah, a limited warranty here. This neon bulb is guaranteed to operate a minimum of 1,000 hours from the original date of purchase. <laughs> All those claims are a joke because the cost to ship it probably exceeds the value of purchase. Alright, we are checking it at 119.0 the volts. Let's turn it on. Huh? It works. And it started up instantly as well. That's actually pretty bright. My camera dirty? Hmm. The base is blue and the top is green. It's not picking up very well on the camera. Maybe we need some more. It's pretty bright. Maybe it'll pick up better if all the lights are on. Not really. That's pretty cool though. Definitely going to have to find something to do with this to put it somewhere. Because that is a pretty neat bulb. I'm trying to think of where I could put it. Hmm. Power draw is uh, 0.11 amps, 0 0.8 watts with a power factor of 0 0.65, 0 0.66. So it draws right around what it claims that it would draw.
That is a really neat bulb. I'm glad I found this and I'm glad it still works. I had a suspicion that it wasn't going to work, but it does. It's not that hot. Now, I do have another one. It's not a palm tree. It's a... Oh, what the heck is it? We'll check out in a second here. I'm just going to put this back on the box. I don't want anything to, to happen to this here. I'm not going to bother tie wrapping into that piece of plastic or anything. We'll just slip it in there like that. I have another one which is a... I guess it's a flower? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's a flower. I was mostly interested in the palm tree, but I figured due to the scarcity and novelty of these things, I'll grab them both. This one, the box is not doing too hot. Tape on the other one just kind of broke. This one, the tape needs to be stronger. Ironically, this one is a little more yellowed. This is a pain in the neck. So this one is is the same, probably the same ballast. This one works as well. This one is... <laughs> the palm tree one looks like a palm tree. This looks just more like a neon blob. It as well pulls 0.11 amps, 0 0.8 the watts. The power factor... Oh, the power factor is lower. This one's 0 0.61. Unless it goes up as the bulb warms up. This one, the center is green, and on the outside is like a purple. Power factor is still 0.62. Alright, so these both work. Pretty interesting bulbs. Definitely not something you're going to see too often in, anymore. These are now... Almost 20 years old. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy to look back at products I remember in the 2000s when they were new, and now you look back at them and it's like, wow, those are 20, <laughs> those are two decades old. Time goes fast. How does this work? I'll deal with that off video. But uh, there you go, some interesting Sylvania neon lights.